We're in Chile at the Catch, quite possibly the best club in the world. Why? Let's find out. Let's start with the obvious and run all the way through to the most unexpected. So first, runways. 300 meters of ultra wide tarmac runway with a parallel grass runway right in front of it. And as of this year, they've removed basically all of the trees that were in front of the runway, allowing for a much more cleared flight path. Aside from that amazing runway, they also have what must be the best pits area in the world. It's a massive covered area with light, power sockets, and how many other model runways do you know of where they have their own control tower with weather station. But that isn't the only runway they have here. This is a second runway used for F3A or iMac. This one may not be tarmac but we have a huge runway for gliders and towed gliders. This runway, this one's for helicopters. They don't really need a runway, but they have a helipad in the middle. We even have a control line circuit. And then we have, of course, the boogies. We have on-road and over to this side, we also have off-road with a lot of bumps. Now we've been to sites before that have multiple runways and even locations for cars and so on. But what is it that makes this place so special? Well, how about not having to dismantle your planes to take them home again? Leave the wings on and put them in one of these shipping containers. There's roughly a hundred of them and everyone keeps their models here on site. They even do the building here in a lot of cases. How about a go-kart circuit at the field? Sure, this may no longer be aero modeling, but this is a boy's paradise. What do you think? We should give it a go? After all, I am filming all of this while traveling about on that thing, as it's a very long way away between all these places. We're not holding a camera. Long live GoPros. Moving on. How about a shooting lane? Well, you go on. And the pièce de résistance, how about having a restaurant on site looking out over the runway? So you can watch your friends fly while having a drink or eating a meal. The restaurant, of course, has an airplane theme to it. Not to mention having its own little historic museum of old trinkets, radios, models, trophies, and so on. Heck, it even has a classroom. And there's a lake as well for boats, but I'm not really too sure if that's actually for boating or just for the chill out area in the restaurant so it has a nice view overlooking the lake while the other side overlooks the runway. Either way, I don't know a single place on earth that comes close to this. If there is one, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it and being here. If you did, leave us a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and after all that running about, I think it's time for a break. One pisco sour, please.
See you later.